वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू आई सी टी ईयर टू वी टू लेसन विथ मिस शेख टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वर्ड प्रोसेसिंग दिस इज द वर्ड विंडो ना द वर्ड विंडो हैज डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ना द फर्स्ट एरिया ऑन टॉप ऑफ द वर्ड विंडो दैट यू सी इट्स नेम इज टाइटल बार It has the title. Uh, it has the name of the document, and in the corner, the right rightmost corner, if you see, it has this cross or X, which we call it as close button. Below the title bar, we have different tabs, starting with File, Home, Insert, Design, Page Layout, References, Mailings, Review, Web. Below the tabs bar, we have a ribbon for each tab. When you click on the tab, the ribbon changes. So, for now, we are focused on the home ribbon. If you see on the home ribbon, this is the font size. This box with a number and an inverted triangle. When we click on the triangle, we can change the size of the font. so i want to have a big letters so i'll click on bigger number and then type font size that's how i change my font size now i also want to change the color of what i'm typing so what i can do is on the same tab home tab we have we have this capital a with a line under the a and it has a color this color changes when you select different colors so next to it we have an inverted triangle we need to click on the inverted triangle and select the color that we want i want a red color so i select the red color and start typing that's how we change the color now the area where i'm typing it's called as page and the blinking line that you can see here a straight blinking line it's called as cursor now let's see what's there on the keyboard we all know about the keyboard but it has some important keys that we use a lot of time we'll begin with arrow keys these are arrow keys they all together now arrow keys are used to go up and down left or right in when you are typing so like i want to move from the end of the font size to the start of the uh, word font size so i use the left arrow key to move until i reach the start of the word font size or if i want to go down at the start of the word font color i just have to press the down arrow key this is the down arrow key this arrow key is the down arrow key so i'll click on the down arrow key and i'm just set at the start of the font color word now let's see which one is the next key enter key this is the enter key enter key is used to go to the next line for example i'm i have completed the word here i want to go to the next line so i'll, I'll just click enter key once if i want to go again I, if i want to skip another line i click enter key again so that's how we use the enter key next we have backspace key the backspace key is used when you have made a mistake and you want to rub the wrong spelling you that you have typed for example i have typed something like this i want to remove the s from here so i click on the backspace key and it's gone next we have space bar key space bar key is the longest key on the keyboard and it doesn't have anything written on it so why do we use the space bar key space bar key is used to put spaces between whatever we are typing for example i'm typing i am miss shake 
So there are spaces between I and M, M and Miss, Miss and Shake. So these spaces I am putting by clicking on the space bar, the space bar. So these are the important keys on the keyboard. Now let's see what you have to do on your worksheet. Okay, so this is ICT Year 2 Word Processing Week 2 Worksheet. You have to mention your name and date and then match the following. If you see on the left hand side, it's font size, font color, close, word, space bar, arrow keys, enter key, backspace. You have to select the right answers for these and then match them by making a line using the pencil. So, for example, let me help you with the first one, the font size. Which one do you think is the correct answer for the font size? So, for the font size, this is the correct answer, okay? It's this box with the number and an inverted triangle next to the number. So, this is the font size. So, you are going to make a line from font size to the to this picture so that's how you have to complete your worksheet thank you